एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डील विद द टॉपिक एक्सप्रेशन वैक्टर्स कॉमनली एक्सप्रेशन वैक्टर्स आर यूज इन द रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन वेन वी वॉन्ट अ जीन टू गेट एक्सप्रेस वेन वी वॉन्ट अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर जीन देन इन दिस केस वी आर यूजिंग अ एक्सप्रेशन वैक्टर्स सो दीज आर द वैक्टर्स विच आर यूज फॉर द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अ डिजायर्ड जीन these are also used to determine the functionality of the gene functionality of the gene in this sense means that when we want that a gene is responsible for the formation of a particular product then we will test it by using expression vector we will insert that gene into the expression vector and we will see that the desired product is um, getting or not so in this way we are checking out the functionality of a gene by using expression vectors then expression vectors are also used to determine the gene uh, produ production or the gene that produces a particular protein for example if we want to know that a particular gene sequence is responsible for the production of catalase enzyme then we we will test it by placing that gene or the portion of that uh, dna into the expression vector and then we will get our desired protein or enzyme then it means that that gene is responsible for the formation of that protein so in this way expression vector differs from the cloning vector in the sense that they are used for the expression of a particular protein then there are different types of problems while expressing eukaryotic genes in bacteria uh, for example you want a gene to get expressed inside bacteria then there are some problems regarding this situation first is the presence of intron in the eukaryotic dna as you already know that the eukaryotic dna consists of introns and exons introns are the intervening sequences or the sequences that are that do not code for a particular kind of protein so uh, in this way uh, they create hindrance or they create problem in the bacterial machinery they will not express in the bacterial machinery if we want a, a eukaryotic gene to be expressed in bacterial cell then the second uh, problem regarding this situation is that the difference in the promoter sequences so uh, we are having a problem regarding the promoter sequences because in the prokaryotic machinery there are different kinds of promoter sequences uh, that are used in translation and transcription and in the eukaryotic machinery there are different types of promoter sequences that's why we feel problem in this uh, technique to express the eukaryotic gene into the promoter uh to express the eukaryotic gene into the prokaryotic cell uh this one is the second problem regarding this then uh the third one is that absence of syndergano sequence in the eukaryotic dna so when you are expressing the eukaryotic dna or a eukaryotic gene into the bacteria then your eukaryotic dna should have syndelgano sequence syndelgano sequence are specific kinds of sequence that are essential for the prokaryotic cell to start the process of translation to initiate the process of translation the dna must have syndelgano sequence in the prokaryotic cell and you want to express the eukaryotic gene into the prokaryotic cell so your eukaryotic dna must have syndelgano sequence that, but that is not possible so uh, this is the third problem then uh, there are some uh, cases that the prokaryotic cell or the eukaryotic cell different types of cell use different types of codons to express the same protein as you all know about the degeneracy of the protein degeneracy of the genetic code that uh, uh different uh, same same type of protein are coded by different kinds of codons so uh in this case the prokaryotic cell uses different codons to express the protein suppose you are having your eukaryotic gene into the bacterial cell then it, it is not necessary that the codon that is present in the eukaryotic dna will express the same protein with same efficiency
देन द फिफ्थ वन इज रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल मॉडिफिकेशन इन द यू कैरियोटिक सेल आफ्टर द प्रोटीन इज फॉर्म देर इज अ स्टेप विच इज कॉल्ड एज पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल मॉडिफिकेशन इन दिस केस द प्रोटीन इज मॉडिफाइड टू बिकम एन एक्टिवेटेड प्रोटीन सो दिस कंडीशन इज ऑल्सो नॉट फाउंड इन द प्रो कैरियोटिक सेल सो इन बैक्टीरिया विच इज अ प्रो कैरियोटिक सेल वी फेस ऑल दीज फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स सो दैट वी कैन नॉट एक्सप्रेस अवर यू कैरियोटिक जीन इन टू द बैक्टीरिया but for this uh, for the solution of this problem we can use a expression vector so uh, we are using expression vector to express the eukaryotic genes into the bacteria to uh, phase out or to solve out all these problems now we are coming to the expression vector so commonly the expression vector consists of different types of uh, components that means it has a multiple cloning site multiple cloning sites are those sites which are cleaved by different restriction into nucleus enzyme it has a promoter region that is very essential uh, for the expression of our desired gene we need a promoter and a terminator region and we should have a lag jet gene for the expression we should have an antibiotic resistant gene to identify the recombinant vector and we should have an origin of replication that can replicate inside the bacterial cell so all these components are present within an expression vector and you will not find a promoter in the cloning vector this is the major difference between expression vector and the cloning vector that in case of expression vector you will have a promoter region that will express your desired gene into a product so uh, the example of a expression vector is lambda gt11 it is commonly used as an expression vector in the recombinant dna technology now i am showing you the diagram of a expression vector as we have discussed earlier that the expression vector consists of multiple cloning sites in this region you can see that this is the region that is called as the multiple cloning site this region is can be cleaved by different types of restriction endonuclear enzyme another portion which is present in the expression vector is the promoter that is the main important uh, factor that is present in the expression vector that leads to the expression of our desired gene so this is the major difference between cloning vector and an expression vector that the expression vector has a promoter that could express our desired gene it has an terminator and it has an lag jet portion lag jet region it has an region of antibiotic resistant gene and it has an origin of replication which has been taken from the call e1 so this origin of replication is responsible for replicating the dna into the bacterial machinery in this way we can use the uk in this way we can use the expression vector for the expression of our desired gene into the bacterial cell to overcome all these problems that uh, that we face that the uh eukaryotic dna will face into the bacterial machinery we use this expression vector to express uh the desired gene to know the functionality of the protein and to determine that whether this gene is responsible for the formation of that protein or not so these are uh, very much used in the field of recombinant dna technology and these have their specific importance so thank you so much